Hi guys, Skypoint here. I am really excited for today's video because we are about to see the biggest change I have seen in this game, and I've been playing for around two and a half years since open beta. So, what's changed? Well, it's timed events, the special uh, events, which are great ways of getting coins, gems, cards. It's been a major part of the game. But ever since the beginning, a lot of players have felt it's also been a flawed part of the game. Because the way these events worked is you would use 1 or 10 tickets to enter, and then you'd get given a choice of 4 warlords, uh, 2 for loyalists, 2 for traders, and then depending on which warlord you picked, you would then get a choice of 3 out of 4 pre-made decks for that warlord. And this had a problem, it actually had a couple of problems. Firstly, um, Often, only one of the decks for a given Warlord would be really, really good, and the others would be kind of average, or worse, they would be terrible. And the second problem it had is often there was one combination of Warlord and deck which was overpowered, and people would be trying to get that particular Warlord with that particular deck, and if you did, you'd be almost unstoppable and easy 12 wins. Well, at long last, the devs have made a change here, and they followed a lot of other uh, CCG games, because now there's a draft format, a draft mode, so this is where you're going to be making your own deck for the events. Now, I haven't done that myself yet, I haven't tried it out, we're going to try it out in this video right now, so I'm figuring it out as we go along. So I've got plenty of tickets, so I'm going to just go ahead and use a full 10 tickets, and let's start. Alright, so the first point is to choose my Warlord. So this is the Battle of Molech, so I've got a choice between Loyalists and Traders. So I've got Aster Crone, which looks like it's going to be a Blood Angels deck. What's his ability? Uh, so this is an event-only Warlord. He's been in here before. I can't remember enjoying him much. Two energy to gain Survivor 2, and then the next time you use his ability, you deal three damage. Not bad. Aha, we have the Acastus Knight, so the legendary knight armor from House Divine. So, when it has this passive that when you put a weapon in play, it gains plus one health. And the House Divine Knight is gain, to spend one energy to gain plus one attack and front line. So, you be basically being a bit of a melee knight. But... You turn that on and you won't be able to attack anymore. I don't know, I don't like that knight ability. We have a Castus Earthigen, so House Earthigen, and this one looks a bit more useful. Um, it's got spend two energy to draw a weapon from your deck, so I don't mind that. And then we've got the good old Horus Lupercal. So. I think I'm going to go with Horus, because I just love throwing out lots of damage. Let's try this. Aha, so this is the new part. So what do we have? Oh, this is very interesting, guys. I like what I see here. Okay, so um, you choose a set of three cards to add to your deck. So it looks like you're going to get ten rounds of choosing three cards. So let's take a look here. What's this? That Okay, so you can just see what the cards are. Alright, so a couple of points. So you choose in every round which of the three sets you want. So you're mixing and matching uh, cards together. But here's a really interesting point. Look at the top corner. Reroll your set for 25 gems. So a lot of players like me have been complaining for a long time that our gems are practically useless. Like when we've got th hundreds of thousands of gems, even like waiting for the cards you need in the store barely makes a dip in your pool. So now if you've got enough gems, it gives you an edge in the deck building mode, which I like. Anyway, let's go ahead and finish making this. So what do I want from early on? So the Twisted brings Malagurst, which is a great card. Quickfire has no legendary in it. And Extra Energy brings Drilling Sight, Lord Malkiel, and Asteroid Belt. So you can see there's a general theme over here, right? So in this case, the Twisted is just around Malagurst. I guess the legendary card overpowers. Quick Fire is a couple of quick damage cards, as well as a draw and stun card. And Extra Energy is all about energy manipulation, because you've got Drilling Sight, which refills energy, Lord Malkiel, which gives you energy, and Asteroid Belt, which messes around with the enemy's energy. I consider Malagos to be very important, so let's go ahead and pick that the first time round. 
Now I come up and I've got a second set. Now this is interesting because <laughs> it sort of looks like it's trying to offer me Malagurst again. Will it allow me to add two legendaries to my deck? Uh, let's take a look. Logmaster brings Sergar, Targost, and some Marines. Warmaster's Charisma brings Malagurst. It also brings Seduction of Chaos and Metal Storm rounds. Let's try that. Oh my god, did that actually work? Look at my deck. <gasps> Oh, is there no limit on legendary cards? I appear to have two Malagursts going on. Interesting. All right. Let's see what else do I have here. Tactical Defense. So Tactical Defense brings Abaddon's Chosen, which is a generally considered a poor card. Terror Hounds, which is decent. And Murder Squad, which is decent. Warp Corruption. So this is focused around chaos stuff. So... Reldred, Scroda, and Vadark. Hmm. I... I mean, these are all Mark of Chaos cards. In fact, all of these have Mark of Chaos on Rally, so there's a theme going on here. That's not bad. I actually like Warp Corruption there. And the last one is Demonic Affinity. So this is obviously demon stuff. I've already got a bunch of expensive cards, so I'm going to make the choice based on... Needing to fill out my curve with more things in the middle. So I'm going to go with Warp Corruption this time. Okay. Next round. Stalker round. So this is going to be based around tr troops and Stalker. Entrenched is buildings. That's interesting. So you see I've got two building cards as well as a tactic to help me play those. And orders from Terra. Okay, so I want to get a bunch of Astartes in here, so maybe I'll go... <sighs> orders from Terra doesn't work well with Horus. <sighs> I don't like any of these. I might just pick Stalker Rounds. Or Entrenched. I mean, that's a common and... Two commons and a rare. That's a rare, an epic, and a common. Emperor's Wrath is good, but I've got a lot of expensive cards already. I'll go with Stalker Rounds. Okay. Um, Fortified is based around frontline troops. Deep Strike is going to be based on Marines. And this is going to give me three troops. I think right now my deck has five tactics and seven troops. This is tough. Do I want Warp Corruption or Deep Stripe here? Let's go with one more Warp Corruption. Uh, okay. Uh, Stalker rounds one more time, I think. I don't like Landing Zone much. Ah, uh, now this is a bunch of cheap stuff. So Spear Tip gives me a fast troop and more stalker rounds. Wow. But I think Spear Tip is important. All Out Attack brings me Gold Stones and Rain of Fire. Oh. And Unlimited Ammo is Draw Cards. I will go with Unlimited Ammo, I think. I like having gold stones. Maybe I'll take gold that for gold stones. Okay, I've got a couple more picks left. Uh, I'll go with Astartes Offensive. And round off with... Full Offensive here for Chariot of the Squads and Groger Squad. Last one, so... Ooh, a Slayer of Worlds? Or a Targar... Oh, oh no, I'll, I'll take another quick fire for more damage. Alright, so there's my deck. So you can see here, I've now created my own custom deck. It no longer has names. And we're just going to take this one into one battle and see how I do. Alright. I'm loving this new mode. It's going to make things very interesting because there won't be standard decks you face anymore. All right, we're up against Hexor Grammatin, who's playing the Blood Angels. I put away Reldred for now. I'll probably rely on my resupply in my first turn. 
uh, bad dark squad. All right. Okay, here we go. Nice, got my Malagurst. I forgot to check how many duplicates I had before. One thing which is missing from my deck is Vengeful Spirit. That would have been nice to have, but I'm not sure if it was one of the options there which they gave Horus for this event. He's going ahead and, ooh, counterattacking. Interesting, interesting. Uh, this is bad. Let's draw a card. Stalk around. I've got too many ammunition cards here. What's he bringing up? All of a sudden, my deck feels a little bit weak early on. Okay, no, he went for the attack on me. Interesting. Oh, so close to Reldred. Let's draw another card. Ooh, a Chariot of the Gods. That's handy. Uh, I will do Reldred next turn, I guess. Let's just sit on my quick fire for now. Ugh. Okay, I'm actually glad I sat on the quick fire. I want to take that thing out now. Uh, yeah, let's take it out. Quick fire it and chariot of the gods it. Ah, okay. Got a void engagement coming up next. Next turn, let's start surprising him with my double Malagurst. <laughs> Wait, honestly, the double Malagurst is a bit risky, but we'll see. Oh wow, he went for me there. Interesting. Okay, um, how much health does that have? Hmm. I'm just thinking over here what I want to do. You know what, maybe I'll do this. There we are. I had too many cards, so if he played a tactic next turn, um, Malagur's copying his tactic and then uh, me drawing a card would have overfilled my hand, which would be annoying. Ugh. That's irritating. Okay, I see what I can do here. There we are. Enjoy that, buddy. Didn't get a chance to double Malagurst yet. Maybe I should throw him out soon. Come on. Oh yeah, there we go. That's what I needed to see. Uh, how do we do this? Let's go ahead. And... Try Malagurs now. Yeah, let's do it this way. He 
he's got to attack Malagurst to kill him, and then I'll try and drop my other Malagurst. Come on, what's he thinking? Volcanic instability? That's a bald move. Especially because I now copy it. Went for me. Does he have a front line he's putting down? Shock assault. Did he was trying to kill me? Or is he giving up? I think he's giving up. Alright, let's do this. We're going to attack that. Prepare to be illuminated. And destroy him. Alright. Well, there we go. So that's a demo of the new drafting system and showing the results of the drafting system in action. What I just found really interesting is, I don't know whether it's by design or not, but it does look as though you, you are allowed to get around card limits. As you can see here, I actually have two copies of a legendary card in my deck. Now I don't know if they're gonna if that's an accident or if that's deliberate, if they're gonna leave it or not. They'll probably wait to see if it's creating any, a lot of unfair situations or if people complain a lot. But right now, I personally don't mind it. There have been enough games I've seen where legendary cards have been played more than once due to card copying effects, and it doesn't like wreck the game it makes it just a little bit harder but that's all all right anyway hope you guys found this video useful uh try out the new draft mode let me know what you think i'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below so uh if you haven't subscribed to my channel of course hit the subscribe button and you'll get notified whenever i post up new videos all right guys have fun playing horus heresy and i'll see you in the battle of molek all right bye for now everyone